used to move from the UK to America because they thought they were going to get a better working life. But that's not necessarily true. And so until you have, until you can remove those economic um, pulls, if you like, those pressures for doctors to move from one country to another, then you won't get what I would like to see, which is professional migration in both directions, where people have professional advantages in working from east to west, or west to east, or north to south, south to north, um, for good professional reasons, because the exchange of knowledge and information and experience is very good in both directions. Now, I'd like to see that encouraged more by universities, by hospitals, by healthcare providers, to allow movement backwards and forwards of doctors and other healthcare professionals. Okay, so are you suggesting that there are pools of expertise yes. across Europe yes. Yes, on I different am. areas? Yes, well, we, you know, we talk a lot about ethical recruitment policy, but it doesn't exist. You know, it's, it's something that people say uh, that there should be, but it's very hard to see how you could have an ethical recruitment policy when you have such wide economic variations between countries and opportunities for doctors to earn. But I think if we could create pools of expertise so that doctors would want to move from one country to another to pursue their professional uh, development, that would be a better way of doing it.